morning guys welcome back to another video today is something we haven't done in a really long time and that is a travel vlog <music> very very early today because i didn't pack yesterday i got home actually really late uh running around coaching soccer with the kids and stuff like that and so this morning uh i gotta wake up early because i have to pack we're heading to savannah georgia today pardon me that's <laughs> freudian slip sorry troy we're going to atlanta georgia today um uh, for those of you who don't know i actually lived in savannah georgia for quite some time that's where i met my wife uh, but we are actually headed to Atlanta today. We are going for uh, Troy Cobb's ribbon cutting ceremony. He's opening his new office uh, right downtown Atlanta. So really excited for him. Uh, Troy's an absolute beast. And uh, his Cinch IT franchise is, is going to do phenomenal. It already is. He's already uh, bringing aboard clients and meeting with clients and, and doing a really great job already. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Right now, i got to try not to forget anything. Right now, I've got to head into the office uh, because while we're on the airplane, we're probably going to be without internet, uh, phone service, things like that. Just got a few last things we got to button up and wrap up before we leave. And so I'm heading into the office, going to work for about an hour or so. Uh, Brandon should arrive. And then you don't have to deal with me vlogging like this as much because uh, he's coming along. He's going to document the trip. But more importantly, he's going to document the grand opening and ribbon cutting of the uh, Cinch IT Atlanta office. You have 30 clips already uploaded to Dropbox <laughs> for this trip alone. From this morning at 2.30 in the morning? 2.15 2 until basically now. That's all just this trip already. Perfect. Short little ones. But now you can take them and just... We gotta get a gift for Troy. Okay. For the open house. Um, I was gonna buy something ahead of time, but then I figured we just gotta throw it in luggage, uh, bring it down there, and there's certain things we might not be able to bring down, like if we do like a nice bottle of scotch or yeah, something like that. Cigars, bourbon, cigars. Yeah. When was the last time you came to Logan Airport and found parking on? Like level two. Never. Never. Just look at this person. Not that bad. Welcome to Boston. This is the one you pick? What? For that? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll move, Brandon. There's one in the middle. It's really nice. I hate the open. This one's good. You can back into this one. Look at this. There's so much parking we can pick right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Walk into a history museum. Yeah. Look out. Angry. <laughs> that guy is so angry. It's raining out. What the hell, Atlanta? I thought it was gonna be sunny and 80 degrees. It's pouring out. Um, in either case. We try to get our rental car. There's like an hour long line uh, just to get our rental car. So we're canceling it. We're jumping into Uber. We're going to get some food. Chris is going to, if we can't cancel the car, <laughs> she's going to lose her mind. Chris is going to lose her mind. <laughs> just meant to like it on Oh, you thought we were sleeping in the same bed again? Stadium's right over here. Everything. Cool. Have you ever been there? Nope, I haven't. 
supposed to be good barbecue. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it say anything on this side? What it used to be there? Oh. Okay, so apparently it was over here somewhere. 206.1 for sale. Oh my goodness. Mm, that sucks. Can't win today. No. That's close by? Yeah, actually down this main street. Okay. Let's get some food in you. So, <laughs> we haven't eaten. So today I've had two pieces of turkey bacon and uh, like a small bag of uh, pistachios. All day it is 316, we need to eat. We just finally ate. We are at Jim and Nick's. It's a barbecue spot here in Smyrna, Georgia, which is uh, just outside of where we're staying, probably about eight miles away from where we're staying. But we were absolutely starving. Uh, we found a little hole in the wall barbecue place we really wanted, or that I really wanted to try. And so we took an Uber down there. It was closed. It actually looked like an abandoned house with boarded up windows and everything like that. So we are actually headed to a cigar shop to pick up a gift for uh, Troy. I'm gonna pick him a box of nice cigars. So we're headed there now, as soon as the Uber gets here. If I was not so impatient, I would have just got the rental car and we would have been $150 for the whole trip. But now, it's $30 minimum every time we get in. That's all I got to say right now. All right, we're downtown Atlanta. We are uh, literally right next to the Cinch IT of Atlanta office. The office is actually in the battery right around the corner here. Uh, so we have a couple hours before we meet up with the Atlanta team for dinner. Just gonna walk around and see what's going on. Well, obviously we got the Brave Stadium right in front of us. That's Savannah's candy. This place has the best uh, Cravings. Get the out of here. Bro, you have to try these. Best cravings around. Good, how are you? Alright, let me see the camera. Taste test reaction. Alright, Brandon's first time having a praline. That's really good. That's so decadent. Stop trying to sound smart on camera. Oh my god. <laughs> How awesome is this location for his office? All right, it's been a long day of travel. We ran, we successfully got to Atlanta, Georgia. We ran all the errands. We picked up the gift we wanted to pick up. We got everything done. Even got a chance to shower, change clothes, and now we're gonna head out with the Atlanta team and just enjoy ourselves and have a good time. We're going to a place called the Red Phone Booth. It's like a members only private club. Uh, it's a speakeasy actually. You have to have a code to dial into the red phone to even get into the place. And the Atlanta people secured us uh, access. <laughs> I'm actually not hungry, but I could use a drink and some relaxation. I believe there's a cigar bar there too. Yeah. Well, right oh, here. That's it, right there. Right. That's the bar. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good night. What's up? Good. Good to see you. You too, man. Good to see you, Rick. Good to see you. There we go. Go. What's going on? Good. How you doing? Are you guys going all the way around? Now I have to do it. You don't have to. Do it.
franchisees. Uh, so veterans for us uh, make up exactly 50% of our system right now. So. Um, we love working with veterans, and 50% uh, of all of our territories are actually owned by veterans. Uh, we got uh, Army guys, Marines, we got a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, so we, we spend a lot of time with it. I'm a military guy myself, obviously, so there's a lot of military methodologies and practices and things like that that are in our system. So uh, it's really uh, great for military guys to be able to adapt to our system. And where our franchise system is a lot different than most franchise systems, so there's a lot of franchise systems out there that want to grow and sell as many franchises as possible and that kind of thing. That's not how we operate. Uh, as a matter of fact, we only bring on six to twelve franchises a year, so we're very selective. We actually say we we actually turn down franchisees probably eighty percent of the time, and, and only uh, actually award territories to about twenty percent of them. So, uh, you know, what you do for veterans, and I understand you know. And uh, what they go through uh, in, in looking for a career post military, um, and uh, you know that's the type of stuff. That's the reason why we started doing so. Oh, I love it, and I, I'll actually look up the show too because I'm I, I'm curious to be able to see it, and I love what you guys are doing. So I love the idea. Oh, well, thanks so much. It was nice talking to you. Uh, you as well. Take care. You too. Bye bye. Bye. All right, you ready to grab some breakfast? Yeah, let's do it. Got 50 more emails that I can get to this morning, but I can do it while we're at breakfast. So, as far as I know, uh, here, the agenda tonight is a ribbon cutting ceremony outside of their physical office. The mayor's coming in and physically cut the ribbon. Then we're gonna go inside, Troy's gonna give a little presentation for the people who don't know who Finch is, who we are, what we do, then we're going over to have a long cocktail, hour, at a restaurant across the street, and then we're gonna end at a place called Burn as a cigar. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're going to count down from five. So I need everyone to help me count. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. to make sure my closest friends were here um, because I'm, I'm in a fortunate position where most of my closest friends are business owners so it was it was it was easy to, to make that choice and then I wanted to have some people that I've just met and my uh, my new networking friends uh, to get out here as well so that's how I chose I really chose 30 my name is Tanya Cobb I am Tora Cobb's wife and what we're doing today we are celebrating this business launch. He reached a milestone tonight with starting his own company. It took a lot of hard work and dedication to get to where he is and I'm very proud of him tonight. Well, I'm coming to you from the ribbon cutting here this evening for Essential IT and Mr. Troy Cobb. I met Troy a few weeks back through the Greater North Fulton Chamber and one of the things that drew me in to Troy and Cinch IT was the methodology that they have behind one their deployment process and two the true care and concern that they have for their clients once the clients get on board. I'm gonna give you a little tip that he's my Peloton buddy and this dude was killing me every week with the blue dots so I just know his dedication and perseverance like I said I know he's gonna be he's super successful not only is he 
knowledgeable, but he also has the dedication and determination to pull it off. So it's a given. He's gonna be real. He's gonna be great at what he does. Period. Super excited for him because at the end of the day, it's gonna be his, and I know he's gonna do very well at what he does. I gotta say, your passion uh, just inspired me. Met you again at the North Fulton Chamber and I just had to be here, had to wish you well. I think you've got all the right stuff to make it happen. So just remember, eat, drink, and sleep. Everything you're doing, we're gonna rock on. I'll send you some uh, some referrals here soon, and I wish you the best of luck. I've known Troy about six, seven years. Super duper excited for him for our launching zone business. Um, he's gonna take this to the next level. It's great being the first one in Atlanta, and I expect him to blow it out the market. I look at him like the kingpin. He's like my kingpin. He kind of pimps me out to the streets, you know, to make sure I do assessment. So I look up to him like a kingpin. And uh, from one devil dog to another, I want to say, Ura, I know you're going to go out there and kill it. Make it good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm wishing him well. I hope he does extremely well. And any support that I can give him, he will have. Hey, my name is Scott Smith uh, with Digital Projection. I am a great friend of Troy's and uh, his former boss, as he would say. Um, I am tremendously proud of Troy for, for this next step in his career. Um, if, if you know Troy, you knew that this was his natural evolution. Um, he is without question a leader. Um, he is without question one of the most reliable and uh, make it happen type of people that I've ever met. And I have no doubt that he will carry that same personality trait into this new business with Cinch. Um, his customers will be lucky people. Uh, he's one of the most reliable human beings I've ever met. Troy, I am uh, so proud of you. You deserve it, man. And I can't wait to see um, all the good you do in the world with your customers and the success that you're gonna have. I uh, wish you all the best and uh, I support you 100%. There's a lot of people here that seem very close to you that came together to celebrate your new success. I think I speak for everybody when I say we wish you the best of luck. I think everybody today, there's a lot of business owners in the room and I think they'll all give you some good sound advice. Uh, my sound advice for me that I usually tell people came from the CEO of Zappos and he said, as now you are a business owner, don't follow the money, okay? Just do right by your customers, the money will follow you. Don't chase the money. Chase good customer service, take care of your customers. Amen. Here, here. Wish you the best of luck. I'm not sure why people want to support me so much, but I'm glad that they do. And you can just feel the outpouring of support. Um, I don't really want to get into politics, but when you think about what's going on in the world today, uh, when people are looking behind, beyond color lines, and just looking at you as a person, just means so much, because so many people have come out and, uh, and just promised me their support, and I can feel it in their heart that they're absolutely going to do it. There's nothing more I can ask for. I mean, if this thing fell flat on its face, it wouldn't be because I didn't put in the effort and I didn't have the support. So um, I'm, I'm absolutely positive I'm going to be successful. Like Rick said in his, uh, in his uh, toast, you know, I'm not going to chase the money. I'm going to chase customer satisfaction. And uh, that's what I'm going to go after. And uh, I think the, uh, the, uh, the accolades will come after that just from doing what we're supposed to do.